Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I've had a, um, an email about an error message that happens with Windows Update. Um, and of course, there are several types of error messages that could happen, and due to all sorts of other factors, one of them is corrupted files. And even if it's not just, you know, I'm going to take this opportunity to put this uh, video into the context of you got some weird problems, things that are happening that are bizarre. Um, this is a set of commands that you should actually execute if something's wrong. If you get error messages that are bizarre, if you are in Windows Update, your updates can't install, it always ends up with some kind of error message. You've tried the troubleshooters, you've tried everything, you still get error messages. Chances are there's possibly some corrupted files within the, disk, the hard disk, uh, which are you know components of Windows. And if there are corrupted files, then it creates error messages. So what do you do? Well, first thing to do is you will actually, either in the search or in the start, go into the search and type command to get command prompt. And this is good for Windows 10. It's good for Windows 11. Once you're here, you will click the Run as Administrator. And of course, you click Yes, and you will see that little black box. What you need to do is copy and paste these uh, commands that are here. So these are commands that are there to verify the source image of Windows with the files that are in your PC. See if there's any difference, any corruption possibility. So four set of commands that you can execute. I will actually post these four commands in the description below, which means you can just select one and then right click on it. Once you've selected the, uh, the whole line, you can then, okay, right click on it and choose the copy and in the uh, once you copy it when you go to your command prompt you can right click and paste so that it means that you'll get the command there press enter let it do what it has to do and if it finds errors or anything do all of the four commands restart your pc and see if things get better uh, there are a lot of errors that happen in specific Windows modules if they get corrupted. Corruption happens in many ways. It can happen because something happened on a computer and a glitch made the file corrupted. Or it could be because maybe a, your PC froze. You pressed that power button because it was the only way to shut it down and it corrupted something on the hard drive. So that could be that. It could be, you know, just something bad. It could be a module that downloaded from the internet. Checksum seem right, but the uh, file itself is no good. So uh, try these and then go back to your Windows updates or whatever other app that's giving you some hard time and problems. Remember that in Windows updates also errors can happen because you have third-party software that create an issue. Um, antivirus, if you have other antivirus than Windows Defender, it sometimes can happen that something can happen and your Windows updates are not working well. Uh, what you could do is just turn off the antivirus, see if the uh, install goes well, um, things like that. But uh, there could be other software also that happens so many times. As a tech guy, I've seen so many, so many error messages in Windows that were due to other software it has nothing to do with Windows. It's some software that's installed on the PC that's creating it. Uh, and that I've seen it a lot of times. Uh, remember when I tell you that uh, more than 95% of all problems in Windows are not Windows related at all. Uh, it is really, really true. It's a mix of so many things sometimes uh, that it's crazy. So try these commands and hope that uh, they'll fix things for you on your Windows PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.